Okay, we should be going. Going. It's like that Aussie metal guy with Crank. And tonight I'm going to be having a chat with Andre and Sasha from Major Moment out of Boston, the US of A. It's my first Skype uh, interview with a band out of the US, so I'm very excited. And um, it's good to be able to chat to people in this crazy, crazy time. So cheers, guys, for yeah. making some time. Out. Hey, how are we doing, G? Yeah, I'm good. Excited. I'm good. Excited to be here. Thank uh, you for excited having us. Here, that's for sure. So, first off, before we get going, you two are both vocalists for Major Moment. Did you just want to tell us a little bit about yourself for the guys who haven't heard of you? Uh, sure, we're a, a Boston based uh, rock band uh, with uh, the two of us uh, out of the whole band originating from uh, all the way from Russia. And, uh, you know, we decided to pursue uh, an, an easy career in music. Uh, came all the way from Russia to the States and, uh, you know, to sing songs that resonate with people, hopefully, as as much as they resonate with us. Yeah, they definitely do. It has a, a really good vibe to it. I woke up this morning and was playing you guys most of the morning and it, it has That's a really up, uplifting vibe to it. And it just kind of got me real positive this morning and going, hey, Let's do this. And, you know, with everything that's going on, I, I really enjoyed that vibe because, you know, at the moment it's hard not to get dragged into that new cycle and start feeling down about everything. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, some, some of our songs are pretty, pretty depressing, <laughs> you know, but, you know, they still have, they still carry uh, the positive message into the world. Yeah. You know? I feel during this time, music really helps to feel. Oh, better. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I think yeah, so too. Yeah. So how, how did you, you play keyboards and um, Andre, your vocals and you do a bit of the synth stuff as well. So how did you both like originally get into music? Because you said you come over from Russia. What right. kind of, yeah, where did your musical journey start with alt rock music and heavier stuff? Well, we have quite a different story, but then it's similar in a way as well. Um, so I guess back in the early 2000s, I got while living in Russia, I got into rock music, into Western rock music in particular, uh, bands like, you know, Metallica or like newer bands like Limp Bizkit or Linkin Park, Papa Roach, uh, Avril Lavigne, you know, I got into that kind of music and I was, you know, heavily influenced by it uh, to the extent where I started like translating their lyrics uh, with the dictionary and, you know, trying to sing back the lyrics right and uh you know trying to make sense out of what people are talking about because the, the music res resonated to me i might not have understood uh the extent of lyrics uh you know quite yet but um i guess uh you know there was a there was work in progress right so at, at some point it was apparent to me that you know i wanted to kind of try uh to do the same thing because music has this kind of a healing effect uh, to people, right? And uh, it also, well, the music, at least the music I like, I, I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm a 50-50 guy. I pay as much attention to uh, the musical content as much to the lyrical content, right? So to me, everything matters, you know, like the message that music brings and, and notes bring and as, as much as uh, words and sentences bring right so at some point i just felt like you know i've taken enough of that and it was my turn to give something in return you know return something to the world to the universe and i thought you know well i i, I gotta try something you know i gotta try to express my thoughts and my position and uh you know whatever i i have going on inside my head and you know so, so it kind of came natural, naturally, and and uh, you know that uh, that Western rock influence eventually got me moving to the states. You know, okay. in, in pursuit of this career. You know, I never uh, was uh, like a, a musician in Russia, right? I never wrote uh, songs that were published in Russia or yeah. you know released in Russia. So I came here trying to pursue, pursue this career, you know, obviously got into the regular nine to five lifestyle, 
you know, because you got to pay the bills, you got to establish yourself as a, as a new immigrant and all of that, right? But later on, I just realized that, you know, it came to the point where it was now and never, and uh, the time was now. And so I started uh, writing these songs and uh, decided that, uh, you know, no matter what happens, I better, I better take it seriously, you know? With, with Sasha, it's, uh, it's quite a different story, right? We have, we have a couple elements that unite us throughout the yep. story, right? You're going gonna yeah. to know, that you're going you're gonna to see the, you're going to see the pattern there. Sasha, go ahead. Yeah, well, my story is a little different, but quite the same. Right, yeah. Because uh, I also learned English through uh, songs and translating them and p- picking up the accent and trying okay. to imitate it. And that's how we both... Um, I loved English language, like, from from the beginning. Right, same here, yeah. Yeah, and, and so I was listening to a lot of... Uh, U.S. bands and U.K. bands and all the English speaking, mostly m- more than Russian. I barely listen. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, but yeah, um, and then I when I met Andre, I always loved to sing, but I never considered a, a career of music. I don't know why, but I don't know. We just met each other and kind of like the two passions collided well a, a little a little side story so we met th- through the through a friend who uh who we both knew because he was a fan of linkin park and both of us were fans of linkin park but we didn't know each other we only knew yeah. this mutual friend and so go ahead <laughs> right. i was traveling around U- us uh, along around east coast and we stopped for a couple of days in boston they knew each other they talked about it and we stayed at his apartment for like three days and he showed us around and then we left and then we uh me and andre talked on social media a lot and yeah. then i don't know we sang a couple of songs when i was here and it was like Damn, that feels so good. <laughs> yep. And uh, since then, yeah, we talked and kind of got together, and now we're married, and yeah. now we're making music together, and and that's crazy that music has United done to us. us. Right. Yeah. yeah absolutely. True yeah, story. Yeah. That that is really really cool. It's a funny story because I actually interviewed a band last night that was a couple of as well uh tom and alana oh, nice. from a band called carnal viscera over here in australia and they they are a couple i know a few couples that are um really well and they play really well together and they just bounce off each other and it just creates a really tight unit and I, it must That's work crazy. really well to have used to being able to right. work off each other that well yeah we absolutely. should check them out <laughs> yeah absolutely when it works it works i guess yeah. you know you don't you, you don't get to see too many couples right in this business yep. at all like people try to you know protect their uh their halves right oh first of all he was very against i was very much having against any I family member i still, I still am <laughs> <laughs> well i'm sorry honey that's it okay nothing i can do at this point i have to no, admit. No. It, it works really well and it does create for a tight knit unit and you can feel that with your music it's you know as i was saying it's very uplifting but it just works so well you you just have that that musical knowledge and you feel these hooks in it and you just kind of get immersed in it or you know it, it must be really good with that no oh, thanks man really appreciate it thank you <laughs> and you've been getting well, and we'll talk you go you yeah. go sasha we also have a pretty much similar taste of music so it helps. No, we dis- yeah. we, dis- we disagree on certain things sometimes, right? But True. then yep. we eventually come to, uh, a, you know, the agreement, the agreement yeah. right? To the compromise. Yeah, agreement. definitely. So, so with you playing keyboard, did you, were you playing keys first or were you um, singing first and said, you know what, I've got, I want to learn keys, I, I enjoy the sound of it? Or yeah. How, how- I've, I, I sang all my life and I only started to kind of, doing it professionally when I just came to the States. Yep. Um, I love singing and I feel like piano and keyboard is, is a great compliment. So I, I just learn as I go. Yeah, yeah, totally. 
Yeah, same, yeah. same here. You know, like I, I can play a couple chords on guitar, you know, and a couple chords on, on uh, the piano or the synth, you know, but I'm still figuring it all out as I go, you know, so that yeah. that's, uh, that's the common denominator here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you've had a relatively good amount of success, which is really cool. I had a look there and it's like a number of awards. I was going to write them down and ask you about each one, but I'm like, no, well, there's too many. So yeah, there's, that there's must... a couple behind us. There's a couple yeah, that... behind us. That must be pretty cool and encouraging because I know, like, for you guys, that must be a great feel. You're coming over, you have this love of music, this love of vocals, and those hooks with the big rock songs and stuff. It must really feel good to get those um, awards from the, the, the scene, I should say. Oh, that was incredible because we submitted almost to every single one <laughs> we found. Like and the, almost the every single one. And right. almost every single one uh, came back with some kind of a nomination or like honorable ma- mention or a, a, or a win. one. Or a yeah. win, right. Yeah. Uh, I guess, you know, in every artist's um, life and career, right, there's a, the, the first stage where like nobody believes in them, right? Yeah. And, and like they have to and and everybody tells them like oh you guys better quit you know like there's, there's not gonna go. this kind of music is getting you nowhere like what are you doing with your lives like you're ruining yourselves right and then you you have to prove yourselves like with you know social proof like with the uh, you know whether they're industry peers uh giving you compliments or something like that you know it's not it's not that we were like specifically uh needing those things right like yeah. but but we decided well let, you know let's let's see let's what the industry thinks about right it. let's what see it for the, the facts you know like yeah. are, are we any good or like what are we even doing right so we submitted to a bunch of um, uh, contests and awards and you know they came back with very positive reviews just to prove uh, just to prove what we've been uh, sus- suspecting all this for all this time, right? That you know, we we, we got something. We're onto something. You know, we definitely far from perfect. You know, in every aspect, but you know, it's a, it's an ongoing process. You know, right. like you perfect your craft as you go. Like nobody's perfect from their, you know, from the first day. Uh, maybe somebody is. You know, <laughs> good for them. <laughs> definitely <laughs> not the case with us. <laughs> yeah. And it- I, I always refer to this to a lot of musicians as well. I, I think of musicians as artists and y- yeah. yeah, you've got to get your art out there and it's kind of something you're born with a passion inside you and it's not like artists go, look, I'm not going to create till I get paid. So it's a matter right. of, I suppose, just putting out what's in your heart and creating and hoping it gels with other people across the world right. or wherever you are. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a lot of musicians, uh, I guess, uh, have this misconception that you know that they need to get paid like right away you know we we're more of uh, realists in this yep. case right like we understand it's it's a marathon it's not a sprint yeah. you know like you, you you get you will you might get paid eventually and you might get you might recoup all your expenses eventually but for that you need to spend a lot on promotion a lot on recording uh quality material you know uh it's just do just, whatever just, you just can. do whatever you you want to you know just do whatever yeah. you believe in like invest to the extent that you believe in your craft you know like we believe a hundred percent so that's why we literally invest like every single dime we have in yeah. this you know it's like most musicians in the underground or unsigned bands that they, they are putting in most of their money and people don't realize guys like yourselves have probably got day jobs so for this yeah. this is a passion and art so every other minute you're not working or dealing with family s- stuff you're putting back into work into yeah, your absolutely. craft and your art that's for sure right in, right. in our case like the family is actually a <laughs> band as well so yeah. it's like no no family it's it just just band's business yeah <laughs> just just working craft so just. we're talking a little bit before about lincoln park and he's brought out a, yeah. a really cool chester bennington tribute of leave out all the rest which was a, a really a really nice tribute can you tell oh, us a little sweet. bit Thank about you. what you know obviously he's a big lincoln park fans but you know what brought that together as well yeah Sasha, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a hot topic for us always. Yeah. You know, it's been a hot topic for us since the tragedy happened, right? Yep. Uh, two years ago, and it still is. Just today, I was driving, listening to Linkin Park songs and uh, Grey Day songs that they just released, and 
Everybody should check it out. Yeah, Chester's sure. uh, old band, pre Linkin Park, that he was a yep. part in, a part of, re released, uh, uh, is releasing the album of their yep. old material with original Chester's vocals, but all new arrangements, and, and it's brilliant. It, the stuff yeah. is brilliant. Like we're big fans of it already. Yeah, didn't he, he done yeah. vocals on a um, Stone Temple Pilots album, wasn't it? He did as that well. Was yeah, really, yeah, yeah. really think, cool. Yeah. Yeah, 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 totally. We actually went to see uh, Stone Temple Pilots, but it was after Chester's passing already. Uh, yeah. With Jeff. With, with that, when Jeff already joined them as yeah. vocalist, right? Yeah. But yeah, great band, great music. Um, yeah, but that, uh, that, that tragedy with, with Chester still resonates with us. <laughs> I, I still, you know, I was listening to like Linkin Park pretty much all the time. Like, I wouldn't say like on a daily basis, but like, at least once a week, I would jam something like out of their catalog. Lately, you know, in the past couple of years, I can tell you that I, I don't intentionally put any Linkin Park songs on. If something plays on the radio, I'd probably like still listen to it. But you know, it kind of is a bittersweet right now. You know, yep. it's uh, definitely it's a beautiful tribute. Yeah, thanks, Thank man. You. I really appreciate we it. We put uh, everything we had in this tribute. Like it was. In some way, like a, um, like a outlet, yeah, like an a, outlet, yeah, yeah, with, a real for cathartic us, experience. It was, it was really yeah. hard, and like we put all this energy, we decided to put all this energy into something <laughs> positive and beautiful, and make a tribute out of it. Right. Yeah. I I think a lot of people actually feel this energy, so that's what it make makes it really special powerful. Right? Yeah, powerful, yeah it, ca special. it came out really well you just done a really good job on it and you should be very proud of the tribute as with all Thank your work you. uh one <laughs> one small step was the ep back in 2018 which is a great ep i won't dive into that too much because i want to talk about the sequel a little bit about and well, we actually record, we recorded uh, the cover um and the ep at the same yeah. uh, studio yeah. session so it was our first ever time in the studio it was like very nerve-wracking to begin with right because we didn't know like what to expect uh we never before met with uh, kevin our producer right who is now on the third round of our songs uh oh. but to 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 record that tribute uh being the first time in the studio was it was a big deal for us you yeah. know and we wanted to give it all and we wanted to really you know to stand stand up uh, yeah. for, for the yeah. promise and you know like make it the best that uh, we can possibly make and and still to this date i think it's it still uh sounds great and there's not nothing really i can i want to change about it you know even after right. two and a half years of listening two years of listening i i'm i'm you know i'm very happy that you know we did it the way we did i think i really like it you know yep. hopefully everybody else does as well yeah, and it would have been a bit of an eye-opener to us by us working with that producer and getting in the studio that it was first. definitely first time and it would have made it a bit easier when you came into your second ep there the sequel and yeah it, oh it just it, blew <laughs> right the second, yeah. the second time was a breeze you know the yeah. second time was a breeze the first time was like very very much like we didn't know what to expect so it was like okay so like how should we approach that you know like how should we react to like the criticism some changes, you know yeah. to some yeah. changes that were proposed to us you know by kevin and like to his criticism which was very fair to begin with, you know, but yeah. at the time it was like, oh, somebody's like attacking us, you know, attacking our craft. So <laughs> yeah. obviously, you know, being rookies, you know, we got like a little bit defensive, I guess, you know, Yeah. but, uh, you know, our brains got over yeah. at, at a certain point and we, we realized that uh, this guy only wants the best for <laughs> us, you know, and he's fighting for the same cause you know and, like, and we actually felt on the same page from the very beginning so yeah. that's why we actually even decided to go to the halo studio right 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 yeah we trusted him from the beginning you know it's just pretty hard like when somebody tries to propose something after like we've, we've been sitting on these songs for like months and months so we yeah. already yeah. got them like cemented in our we brains performed you know? these songs we performed for... these songs several yeah. times the way they were 
And then, you know, we got compliments from like the, the audience or something. And then somebody comes and says, oh, well, you know, actually, this is crap. You <laughs> <laughs> didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to a certain extent to a certain, yeah. I, i'm exaggerating obviously yeah. you know but like you know something that i would propose like well do you do you like this line and he's like nope I'm like, okay <laughs> what, what am i not what am i not getting okay but like at the end at the end of it all like it was it was great it was a great experience yeah. right yeah and you yeah. know it, it just shows like we're, we were back in the studio for the third time with the same guy, with the same team uh, of people who helped us uh, to realize our vision. Um, so, yep. you know, it uh, only um, gets better. It only gets better. There. Trust us yeah. on this. Like we, we're on to something this time. Like it, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah. And what you brought out is great so far. And we're talking about the producers. I just wanted to add to that. It's um, when you get a good producer, like as you're saying, Kevin, we'll get you to give him a plug as well. And I'll add in some links there for him. Yeah. So, and um, when you work with a good producer and they do do that, you, you get to a point where, okay, this is my, what I love my, my child, but they're just working for the best. So I suppose working with that good producer coming in and giving that, that criticism, constructive criticism going, okay, look, this isn't a personal dig. This is just because they know what's going on musically and they want to improve it. So yeah, it must've been a really cool experience, but that, hard to deal. take that, in first that's off. The deal. Right. Yeah. And, that, and now, now, like, after we already know, like, what this criticism is about, you know, like, yeah. and what results it can yield, like, we go and, like, this time we went to the studio, I just handed, I just sent uh, Kevin all our demos, and I sat in the chair next to him, like, I'm like, okay, go ahead, <laughs> listen, you know, what, 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 what do you have for me? Like, I'm yeah. totally open, you know, like, I'm... Yeah. I'm do you want to change this? Yep, let's change that. You, you like, you know better. I have my own vision. You have your own vision. Let's meet up somewhere in the middle. You know, let's let's see what works and what doesn't. You know, so yeah, I, I, I personally think it worked great so exactly. far. Exactly. So and what are we yeah, looking the... at? You go, Sasha. Sorry. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. You go ahead, Sasha. So it was a very cool moment this time around. The third time that we went yeah. into the studio, and we have four more songs, That's new songs cool. for you guys. Um, coming up real soon this the, year, the, this year for sure. That's exactly what I was going to ask. <laughs> yeah, this year, there's no doubt about it. We're right. already yeah. working on uh, See, artwork. We're connected. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Nice. We're already uh, working on artwork and lyric videos and music videos. So it, the the first single is probably going to come out within the next three months, tops. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So I'm since forward. we are Russians. Right. Uh, we write so like we started writing songs, a slightly different from like how a American Fra explains something. Phrasing it, I guess, phrasing things. it slightly different, right? Slightly awkward okay. to the ear of American, right? To a yeah. So speaker. the first time in the studio, Kevin would like really point it out and say like, "Well, Americans would not say that, and let's say change it way, to something right. else," and then what? really cool is one of the songs we did not change the lyrics yeah, at a single all. word right he That's was like cool. I, I love it i don't want to change anything about it you guys yeah. about you guys it. did so like... great like for, for us it was like the biggest compliment you know right. personally uh to me and you know from a melodic standpoint we right we made it right? <laughs> in, in our minds we did you know coming from like a foreign country you know it's a, it's a challenge uh, to say the least, you know, to start writing in in a native language, but you know, we don't want to just write like love dove and stuff, <laughs> right? It's like we want to we want to come up with a message, you know. We don't want to just like rhyme stuff and you know put it all in a song together and and repeat it and repeat it a thousand times, right? <laughs> we want to bring a message, you know. We want to deliver what uh, what we feel about the world, you know, right now, and you know, it 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 comes uh with the challenge you know for sure but we're getting better at this i think you know and uh, this this situation with the, the la latest uh, um batch of songs you know it was it was really good like he's like guys i'm so proud of you like yeah you did such a great job like this time i don't want to change anything it's, it's amazing like we're like really you're not shitting me <laughs> like really <laughs> it's like yeah it's great let's 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 record it I'm like okay that, uh, that <laughs> is great. really Really cool. So how, how do you develop song structure? So you're both I suppose, singers and vocalists first. Is that 
something you focus on first when you're developing um, your songs, the, the, the lyric structure and then work around the music? Or do you have the uh, guitarist Eddie and Daniel um, come in and uh, lay down think, some music? Or Yeah, you go. I, th- I think, uh, you know, I can only compare, we, we both agree on this. I can only, we can only compare like songwriting process to like completing a jigsaw puzzle. You know, like you're you're trying to fit one piece, right, somewhere, and you think it fits, but then it doesn't. You know, maybe it fits here, but then you have to detach detach all the other pieces around it, you know, and build something else around it. So that's that's how we feel about it. We 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 may start with literally like anything. It could be a guitar idea, it could be just the drum beat, uh, which just a vocal idea. Just a yeah. vocal idea. Uh, sometimes we think we have the song like ready to go and then we just take it all apart like one of the last uh, one of the songs that we worked on this time uh, called Losing Battles uh, we actually had the song as a completed demo as a complete demo but with totally different lyrics with totally different everything with totally different vocal melody and we gave it to Kevin and he's like uh, yeah, I don't feel too hot about it. You know, something is not right. So, you know, I we took it as a challenge and we decided, yeah. well, we feel great about certain elements there. So why don't we just keep those elements and from lyrical standpoint... And try to rework it. And try to rework it, like, from ground up, basically. So from lyrical standpoint, there's only one line that we kept. Right. And, yeah. and everything else was built from scratch. Like, the whole concept, the theme of the song is just, like, one line and some... Uh, melodies in the background so and and when we brought it to kevin he was like that's great i really <laughs> like it you know he didn't even remember that it was a, a scratched idea from the past at that point i guess <laughs> so yeah, yeah cool. so, so so it's like a puzzle you know it can it, like anything can be an inspiration but then the, the the question is like what it's gonna look like at the end yeah you know when when it's ready and a lot of our uh, songs go through like three, four different iterations, you know, like from from an early demo to like a completed studio demo, and then whenever we record like with live instruments, you know, it can totally change direction as well. I feel like yeah. that's the beauty of it that we don't have the formula. We have right. we just go we, as it we totally as the, don't. what the song needs, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it just goes from we, we don't know what the hell idea. we're doing, right? <laughs> Yeah. Guys, why do you give us all those awards? <laughs> we have no idea what, what we're doing. Just the creative flow. Right, yeah, absolutely. And, and that's it. And once you get in there, I suppose, being speaking of the creative flow, you guys will be plenty busy, I suppose, at the moment. Like I've spoken to a lot of bands that are knuckling down and can't play any live shows or yeah. anything yeah. like that. I suppose you guys have been plenty creative and coming up on the new work. You're probably been knuckling down and working heaps so eh? well we're still finishing those four songs that we had recorded pre-pandemic yep. um <laughs> uh, but you know if we have I, I feel like once we get that chip of our shoulder uh, you know we, we we can we can focus on trying to build some new material Great you know because right now yeah. the pressure is like the pressure is really enormous right now like i personally feel like Whatever I heard today uh, from Kevin, like we're going through the mixing stages, I okay. feel like it's 90, 98.5% there. It's like yeah. 99%. I just wanted to hit the 100 so I can rest. You know, like I want to be like, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly that's exactly what I want to hear. And now I can move on and focus on some new stuff. You know, I cannot like write and write write some new songs like while I know that you know some of this the best material we, we we wrote to date. <laughs> is still like hanging there in yeah. the limbo and, yeah, and we sure. honestly have been waiting for quite some time to release them as well like we were originally like planning to go and record them uh in january and then you know it's already like almost <laughs> it's, it's already end of april right with all the pandemic yep. we experienced some delays you know um we were kind of late to deliver our demos you know in the first yep. place because because we were busy promoting our sequel ep as well yeah so so it's a never-ending yeah, cycle it's really like back to back and we're trying to release constantly yeah new material i think it's very important during this time to stay relevant to stay yeah. relevant yeah. and uh, uh, yeah keep and releasing 
keep active. Yeah. Yeah, Keep absolutely. Active, that's for yeah. sure. And it kind of must be kind of good that it kind of did happen the way it did for a reason, because you don't want this new stuff to just release and go off into the ether, become like on the streaming cycle. You probably want to give it the release that it deserves, i.e., some shows and that. So it's probably working out better that it can wait, because if you did release it towards the start of the year, it'd be just sitting out there in the ether, and it'd be yeah. a little bit of a True. bummer that should work. You know, you got this great album ready to go and you can't really play it live so silver right. lining you know, you, you know we were really excited about uh bringing those songs to the table as well as far as the live show uh, yeah. live shows go because you know if you haven't noticed yet there's like a, a certain trend in our songs there's like a fast song a slow song a fast song a ballad a fast song yeah. a ballad you know so so this time we were trying to like well, enough with the ballads, you know, we have plenty of them. Like, we just want to have, like, a high-energy live show as well uh, that right. consists at least of, like, six, seven songs that we can just, you know, uh, fire up, like, back-to-back -back and everybody's, like, full of energy, you know. We we, we don't mind the ballads that we, we have, right? We'll, we'll yeah. like them as well. It's just, but we want to control the mood and, and uh, I guess, uh, go off the mood of the audience as far as like what song we play next right. you know we yeah. want to be a little more flexible with that so those four new songs like they're full of energy and you know whether or not they're more fun driven or them they're like have this sadder oh, uh, they're still note depressing. to them don't worry <laughs> 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 right right not to get changed, guys <laughs> yeah uh, rest assured yeah <laughs> No, that's a great message. And yeah, your songs do, if you want to kind of dwell on some of them songs, like, you know, May Leave Scars and things like that. But it, it, it does, it does have an uplifting message. We all go through these down stages and, you know, there's nothing wrong with expressing that and having, you, you know, getting through these. And that's the, the struggle of life. Is Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, totally. Now, yeah, would, yeah. Together this one time in the world when we're actually all in the same boat, regardless of where we are, like this hasn't been like this in ages so your songs do bring that out you know we go through this downtime and th that kind of needs to be embraced as well because we get through that and that's part of life yeah absolutely right. yeah your we songs have some, we have some, like that we have some songs that people would think that you know this uh, current situation in the world influenced us and inspired oh, yeah. us to to write but they were actually <laughs> written last Before. year you know, yeah. we rewrote them last year, but they're so relevant, like with what's going on these days. It's crazy. Like yeah. the timing couldn't have been worse or better, like whichever <laughs> the way uh, you want to look at this. But, you know, these songs are just hitting uh, the nail on the head, you know, right. as far as like the current situation with the world. We definitely look forward to hearing it when it comes out and gets released. And we are Crank so here, excited. We'll share it all about as well. We definitely will share all the news with everyone. I'll put on a whole heap of links so everyone can track you down and have a listen, crank it up. Um, before we go, did you guys want to thank anyone? Like any shout outs, mentions? Did I forget anything? Or Well, we obviously wanted to thank you for having us today, right? Pleasure. And uh, we to anyone who's watching, <laughs> to everyone who's watching, healthy. right? It's very important right to now. everybody who ever believed in us, um, all our fans, uh, to everybody who doubted us, to all <laughs> the haters. Thank you guys so much. This is what <laughs> keeps us going, you know. And uh, obviously, to the Halo team, Kevin, Adam, Andy. Uh, we love you guys enormously and uh, looking forward to keep pumping up uh, new songs with you guys. Awesome. Super excited. Thank Super excited to share them with you guys. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sasha, Andre, Major Moment. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Hey, thank you so much Al's for having from us. from Australia. Thank you very yeah. much. Stop. Cheers.